Blitzwolf is a new company on the block with their SSDs alongside their Quick Charge 3.0 supported battery banks and wall plugs. Check out the link in the description to learn more and get a few bucks off with our coupon code. Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you all a build log of me putting together a used slash new parts PC build that I pretty much scrapped together with a bunch of stuff that I had lying around because you know what? I wanted to get back into these PC builds and I decided might as well do it vlog style because well it is finals week and this is easier for me to edit as well i'm gonna meet and show you all um my pc build so let's get right into it so over here we have the pc this case right here is the bit phoenix neo this is a budget case from bit phoenix they sent it over for review and what i wanted to do was make a used parts build using this case they also sent over a bunch of fans to put in this case as well which i will be using very shortly in another build with this case a um am AMD FX 8370 tribute build, which basically, as I said, is just gonna be like a tribute to the end of the FX series and the beginning of Ryzen. This case right here is, well, it's a budget case and there are a couple gripes I have with it. So let me prop me up, uh, prop you up right here for a second. All right, so here's the case itself. Let's go ahead and take the side panel off real quick. But on the inside, I have a couple gripes that are very big. First, thumb screws are all right. There's no issue with the thumb screws that are included. But the big, big issue I have is cable management in this case. This case is not meant for cable management at all. I do have a non-modular power supply, so that is something to consider but the system itself should be cable managed a little bit better. So as you can see right here, we have an SSD rack mount, which drive cages are delicate, like the most well-built things in the world. So let's slide that back in there, but they work, they're hard drive cages. Same thing for here, here's the hard drive cages. These are SSD cages, two and a half inch, three and a half inch. Uh, power supply fits in fine. And then we have the graphics card here, which it works well. But the main gripe I keep saying is that there is no pass through up here for the CPU power cable. As you can tell right here, I have to run the CPU power Power over the graphics card, which drives me insane because that's not good cable management technique. There definitely should be a, a drilled out area back here on the back side panel to allow a running of the CPU power because this makes a very ugly system otherwise. And it's really hurting my like confidence in building this A and B system out of this, but I'll still find a way to make it work. But nonetheless, let's just go over the parts of this build real quick. So what we have in here is an R7-260X, a graphics card that my brother used in his personal on a rig for a while. For the CPU, we have an i5-2400 paired with an Asus motherboard. I'm gonna leave a description to the actual eBay store where I bought the actual motherboard and CPU. Um, I didn't buy them as a combo, I bought them separately. The i5-2400 I bought for roughly $40 on eBay. I got uh, a new eight gig stick of Crucial Ballistics RAM. And then I also have a SSD right here, which is a only a 120 gigabyte, but it's a Samsung, a Samsung, a SanDisk, a SSD plus, um, just basically for boot drive and installing some of the games on there. It's kind of my test bench drive that I use right now. I finally made a purchase to get a drive that I can use in multiple systems and it's been working pretty fine so far. So this whole system together, I don't have an actual price. I'll have a link in the description and for the official video of this thing, because this is more of a vlog style of putting the system together and showing you a little behind the scenes of actually setting it up and what to expect for it. But this PC itself, I'm very excited to actually start using using and see how well it performs for the price tag that it is, especially after I did the $100 PC build challenge with Lee from ComTV and Charles from Tech Always, which we expect to do more content with them because that was a very successful video and it's still getting a good amount of views. Good old Boxy Bertha had to be put to sleep and taken apart, sadly, but nonetheless, that was a fun video to do and I greatly enjoyed doing it with Lee and Charles. So. One thing I definitely want to show you all is the goodies that I got sent over to by Seagate. So in here, Seagate sent us some goodies. Before I reviewed their um, eight terabyte uh, USB uh, hard drive enclosure thing. Um, I don't even know what to call it right now. External hard drive, um, which is a really awesome device. And I asked him, hey, do you guys have anything that could hook us up for some of our PC builds? Because we're trying to orient back to just doing PC builds. So they went ahead and sent us over these. So we got a couple of their Seagate Barracuda hard drives. They're two terabyte hard drives. We got this one, 
along with this one. So we got two two terabyte hard drives that we can shove into personal rigs, which are gonna be really awesome and definitely will add a good amount of storage to some of our builds. And props to Seagate for sending it over and in this great packaging, look at this. They have it nice and buried inside bubble wrap and the wrapping itself was totally tied down. This thing was airtight. So they know how to ship some hard drives over there at Seagate. Well, I kind of would hope so because well, that's the only product they really make. So <laughs> that's probably a good idea that they know how to ship hard drives. Uh, all right, try to ignore my hair. I definitely do need a haircut right now. Look at this shit. Look, what, what, what is it? What is it doing? So if I sit and play with my hair, that's why my hair really needs a haircut right now. But nonetheless, I'm getting Windows updates downloaded right now. And then after this is done, we're going to do some actual gameplay. But I decided just for teaser sake, I might as well load up a game real quick and just play it while you all can't see it. So I'll see how all the performance numbers actually are. And just don't tell you because, yeah, I'm a little bit of a teaser like that. All right, guys. So I got good old CSGO loaded up. I'm not gonna show you any frame rates or anything, but I might just load into a game and see how well this performs. Oh, I have Xbox DVR on, whatever. Who gives a flippity flip? Am I running at 1080p? I don't think this monitor is even running at 1080p, so I might as well change that. And this should be at 1080p. Make sure video settings. No, it's not. Let's go 1080p. There we go, 1080p. That should be a lot better. There we go. All right. So we got max out settings right now. So let's just load up a, just a deathmatch game. Might as well. We'll launch into deathmatch and see how well this bad boy performs. All right, boys. So we're in the game running at max settings CSGO and we are getting very playable frame rates. Um, not going to disclose the frames, but you can see them in the top corner. This game is actually quite playable at 1080p. Um, well, it's CSGO, you can run it on almost anything, but still, for the money, I think this is a pretty solid little CSGO machine if I don't keep dying. Maybe, maybe we'll just get a kill first, and then maybe I'll be all right. The Nova, let's get a Nova kill for the video. Nova for the video, for the video. Let me get a kill for the video. There's probably someone in here. Oh, someone behind me. There he is. You don't want me. Hey, I got a Nova kill, I got a Nova kill. But yeah, guys, that is all I'm gonna be showing you in this video. Consider this a little bit of a teaser for this PC build. Um, it's gonna be a really awesome ultra budget PC build. I told the specs and everything, but pricing will be a little bit up in the air. Um, I'm gonna show you all specifically what we're gonna be doing and what prices that I got for each thing, um, and then lay out an ultimate price for the PC and see if I can make it replicable for you guys. So join our Discord community. We have a link in the description down below. If you have any questions about tech or wanna talk tech with other people join down below say what's up in the main chat and i will definitely be there at me and i'll most likely reply to you um whenever i'm on a pc or hanging out at school i always like to check discord and also follow us on twitter for uh behind the scenes updates and all that sort of stuff so i hope to see you all in the next one peace out guys